Hi everyone, and welcome back to Mission 1820 and this week's episode of Have You Ever Wondered? This is a weekly series where we answer a common biblical question in five minutes or less. So without further ado, let's get to this week's question. Have you ever wondered what is the mark of the beast? Well, after the rapture and during the tribulation period, people will need to make a decision as to who they're going to worship. If they choose to worship the Antichrist and the false prophet, they will receive the mark of the beast. Now, this mark, according to the Bible, will be placed on the right hand or the forehead. And Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 says, He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. The number mark 666 is the mark of the beast. And according to Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, it says, Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is 666. This mark of the beast will be an end times identification required by the Antichrist in order for people to buy or sell goods in the marketplace. And it will only be given to those who choose to worship the Antichrist. Now, again, the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 13, verse 17, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Imagine a worldwide requirement that doesn't allow anyone that doesn't have this mark to buy or sell any goods. And for those left behind to endure the tribulation, they're going to have to make a choice. And if they choose to accept the mark of the beast, they will be choosing allegiance to the Antichrist and the fleeting safety of the world. But they're also going to be accepting eternal separation from God. Revelation chapter 19, verse 20 and 21 tells us, Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire and brimstone, and the rest were killed by the sword. This means that those who bow before the beast reveal that they do not belong to the one true God. The mark of the beast will not be a temporary solution for those who accept it. Rather, it's going to be their eternal decision as to who they will worship. So, in the end times, the mark of the beast will be a physical mark, either on the right hand or forehead identifying those who worship and follow the Antichrist. Now you know what the mark of the beast is. So God bless and thanks for watching.